uh, welcome back grade 12s uh, we will be looking at the application of calculus uh, on the measurement uh, we will be doing question 10 in this case uh, and the information that is given on question 10 reads as follows a satellite is to be constructed in the shape of a cylinder with a hemisphere at each end uh, and the radius of the cylinder is r meters and its height is h meters see the diagram below which is this diagram uh, you have a cylinder here in the middle and uh, at both ends the cylinder is closed with a hemisphere the outer surface area of the satellite is to be coated with the heat resistance material which is very expensive the volume of the satellite has to be pi over 6 cubic meters and on this box here we are given the formulas and i would like to encourage you uh, 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 to know these formulas uh, by heart because sometimes you might not they might not be given to you so you need to do yourself a favor and uh, know these formulas as well as uh, and know how to m manipulate them uh, you are given the outer surface area of a sphere is given by a uh, 4 pi r squared that is the formula for calculating the outer surface area of a sphere not the hemisphere uh, the curve the surface area of a cylinder is equals to 2 pi r h uh, the volume of a sphere is equals to a uh, 4 over 3 pi r cubed the volume of a cylinder is equals to pi r squared h right show that a uh, h can be given as a should be one there as one over six r squared minus r over three so for us to show that h is equal to this we are going to use the fo the formula of a volume why use the formula of a volume because we are given that the full the volume of the satellite has to be pi over six cubic meters so they are not giving us the surface area if they had given us the surface area i was going to use these formulas of a surface area to show that h can be written in this form but since when we are given uh, the what is it uh, the the formula for what for the volume so i'm going to use these fo formulas of a volume uh, and uh, show that h is equals to that right let us get on to it uh, the volume is equals to what is equals to the volume of a cylinder which is pi r squared h plus what plus the volume of these two spheres uh, hemispheres if you can look at these two hemispheres they are half of a sphere so in other words the formula for calculating the volume of the sphere you are going to multiply it by half the formula for calculating uh, the volume of the sphere you are going to multiply it by half so you are going to have a uh, 4 over 3 pi r cubed multiplied by 1 over 2 because it is not full sphere but it's a half of a sphere plus a uh, 4 over 3 again pi r cubed multiplied by a uh, 1 over 2 so this will be the formula for the volume of a of a, a hemisphere that is uh, at the top the this one will be for the the the, the formula of a uh, of a hemisphere that is at the bottom so remember now the volume of the satellite is said to be what is said to be pi over 6 cubic meters so we are given the the magnitude of the volume there we have pi r squared h uh, plus and then you simplify here inside the brackets you have 2 over 3 pi r cubed plus 2 over 3 pi r cubed uh, if you look at the two they are the like terms so we are going to simplify them uh, plus when you add the two you are going to have again 4 over 3 uh, pi r cubed on that side you still have pi over 6 so uh, we need to make h to be subject to the formula for us to make h to be subject to the formula we are going to have a uh, pi over 6 when you transpose this one it is positive so it is going to be minus 4 over 3 uh, pi r cubed is equal to what is equal to pi r squared h so we are going to divide by pi r squared on both sides divide by pi r squared uh, also divide here by pi r squared so that we can be left with h on that side pi r squared will cancel pi r squared we have h uh, pi will cancel pi and r squared will cancel uh, one uh, uh, r there we'll be left with two there so you are going to have a uh, minus four r over three because pi has cancelled pi and then uh, these are so as you simplify them you will have three minus two uh, which will be uh, r there should be one uh, 
pi will cancel pi you left with 1 over uh, 6r squared so you have shown what they needed you to show that uh, h can be written as 1 over 6r squared minus what minus 4r over 3 so there's a mistake there should have been a, a, a 4 should be 4r there and we go to a uh, 10.2 10.2 they say to us a uh, they say to us hence show that the outer surface area of the satellite can be given as s is equals to that they say we must show that uh, the outer surface area of the satellite can be given as this. So they are talking of what now? They are talking of a surface area. So we are going to use the formulas of a surface area this time. Right, let us check now. Uh, surface area will be what? Surface area will be uh, the surface area of these uh, spheres. Uh, the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, but we are talking of a hemisphere there. So it will be a 2 pi r squared. As you divide that by half, as you, or you multiply by half, it will give you 2 pi r squared. That will be for the hemisphere that is at the top. Plus what again? Plus another 2 pi r squared, which will be the surface area of a, a hemisphere that is a, at the bottom there. Plus what again? Plus a... 2 pi r h this one it will be what it will be a uh, the surface area of what a uh, of a curved surface a uh, 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 cylindrical shape it will be the surface area of a cylinder the surface area of a, 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 a hemisphere that is at the bottom the surface area of a hemisphere that is at the top so we are going to have uh, the two other like terms so they will give us 4 pi r squared plus 2 pi r remember our h we said is this what it is 1 over 6 r squared minus 4 r over 3 so in replacement of h in this formula we are going to substitute what 1 over 6 r squared minus what minus 4 r over 3 so in other words we are going to have what we are going to have 4 pi r squared uh, plus you multiply inside the brackets uh, 2 pi r over 6 r squared minus you multiply again minus 8 uh, pi r squared over 3 all over 3 uh, as we simplify so we are going to have a uh, 2 uh, divided by 6 which will be 1 over 3 and a uh, R will be cancelled, you'll be left with only a, a one R the, the bottom. So you are going to have a pi over 3 there at the bottom, pi over 3 a, a R. And then a plus, we are going to simplify this once. It is 4 pi R squared a, over 1 minus 8 a, pi R squared a, all over 3. If you can look at this, this is a, a R squared. R squared, forget about pi, it is just a... a, a Remember, pi is three comma one four, so it is still the same as a as a, as a number. Uh, so you have r squared, you have r squared. Therefore, these two are the like terms. So you ought to do, you ought to uh, uh, simplify them. So you still have pi over three r. As you simplify, there you are going to have three times four, uh, which will be twelve pi r squared, and then one times eight, which will be minus eight uh, pi r squared all over 3 times 1 which will be 3 so you will be having pi uh, over 3 r as you simplify inside the brackets you are going to have 12 minus 8 which will be 4 pi r squared all over 3 this is the surface area this is the surface area so we have shown what they wanted us to show this is pi over 3 r we still we have pi over 3 r uh, this is 4 pi r squared over 3 this is 4 pi r squared over 3 let us see what they want again uh, 10.3 uh, calculate the minimum outer surface area of the satellite remember uh, where do we meet the minimum and the maxima as you calculate uh, your attaining points uh, remember we said uh, this will be the maximum local maximum this will be the local minimum and when you calculate these uh, turning points what do you do you will find the first derivative so in other words uh, even on uh, uh, application 
immediately you see the word minimum and maximum you must know you are going to differentiate uh, immediately you see the rate remember the rate is what it is acceleration so for rate uh, and acceleration you differentiate twice but for minimum and maximum you differentiate once so calculate the minimum outer surface area of the satellite they said the minimum outer surface so it simply means we are going to dif uh, differentiate the the surface area this is equals to a uh, pi over 3 r plus uh, 4 pi over 3 r squared so the derivative of that surface area prime is equal to what it will be pi over 3 uh, plus what now you uh, differentiate again on this side 